Hi, I'm Steve with ProGrass, and today we're going to talk a little bit about lawn aeration. Uh, lawn aeration is really, really important for your, uh, the health of your lawn. It's probably the most important thing other than watering and fertilizing and mowing. Uh, but it's a very critical part, and it should be done yearly. So what we're going to do today is talk a little bit about the benefits and how the process is uh, taken care of, and also a few things that we can do at the same time as aeration to also improve the density and the health of your lawn. The problem with lawns is that they become compacted in time not only from watering and mowing and walking on them, but just from gravity. Soil slowly settles, and as that occurs, water can't penetrate, earthworms can't penetrate, it just becomes more and more compacted. So uh, mechanically what we do is we have a machine called an aeration machine that has hollow tines or, or spikes that, that penetrate the grass and pull out a core. There are some uh, other types of machines that aren't as effective, that have a solid spike. Those are not as good because they poke a hole in the ground and it closes right back up. What's really important is that a core like this is removed. These soil cores basically are a sample of what was below ground. These are removed with the machine and placed on top. What that does is leave an open hole which allows water, fertilizer, and air to get into the root system. This is left on top which may look unsightly at first but quickly break down within two to three weeks and actually provide a beneficial top dressing. The benefits of that are that you're bringing soil up on top like you would be if you were turning over a garden and mixing up your soil. Also if you have any thatch, this soil will help break it down naturally without having to dethatch. Additionally when we aerate, I would also recommend a few other items. One is gypsum. Gypsum is a particle that's similar to limestone but it doesn't affect soil pH. What it is is we apply it as a particle which when it gets wet it breaks down and mixes with the cores that are left on your lawn and also gets into the holes. Over time, this helps prevent the clay and the soil from sticking together again, so it naturally loosens the soil over time. The other option that I would really highly recommend is overseeding. Uh, with overseeding, we apply a really high grade of ryegrass seed over the lawn after it's been aerated. Without the aeration process, overseeding is not very valuable, but with it, the seed will germinate in the opening holes, it will also mix in with the cores, and provide a new generation of grass in your lawn that will help replace the existing lawn with a newer, healthier type of grass. Lastly, I'd like to mention that the proper season is critical for aeration. Uh, we like to do aerations around soil moisture, uh, not just irrigation in the summer. Summertime typically is too hot and dry to, to aerate properly. So I usually like to recommend that we aerate early, early spring as possible, uh, up until about the middle of July. And then if you can't get it done by then, that's okay. You can also do it in the fall. Usually in September, October, November are also good months to do it. Uh, a lot of it hinges on rainfall. Uh, as we do an aeration, we try to make sure it's very clean. We make sure that we take care of all the cores that are left over on the sidewalk, any pellets of gypsum or seed that are left remaining on the pavement. They're always blown off, and we take care of that and make sure everything's nice and clean when you come home. So if you have any other questions, be sure to call ProGrass or check our other information on ProGrass.com.